Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to demonstrate how I weighed a fish decoy. This is a six inch trout and I will demonstrate how I do it. Now it's not the only way I've seen other ways of doing it but this has worked pretty well for me so let's get at it. Carved and ready to weight it and set the fins. I start out with a diamond disc. Then I fit them the rest of the way with a burner tip. Here, that one's in there. Now these fins here, just getting them ready, but they won't be set until after I am done waiting. It. That way they're not in the way. There, now I've got those two ready. Now for this one, before I slot it out, I make the hole for the lead about a quarter back of the fish. Start it out with this. start the hole like that when I grind inside it's probably like that big of the lead hole on the inside when you grind this out you don't want to go past a third of the fish so it doesn't tip over or whatever. So you keep the lead hole about a third deep of the fish. I usually go back to where the fins go in, they'll clear the wood inside. So. so now we got that carved out, put the fins in next. So 
So now these fins, we pin these. We don't want to put them in yet. We gotta keep the pig's tail. Let's see. So when you put the uh, pig still in, you want it over the lid. So I always start the holes with. Well, so I don't slip. Right in there. Screwdriver and bend those over. So now I got that. See that. Not to go through here. Tape so you don't go through. Now those are never come out. Now on the back here, they usually start here. Depending on the size of the fish, I use a different size drill. Oh, 
when I drill this one, I drill it at an angle. So it's, it goes under the, I drill it to about the middle of the anal thing. So that's how we do these. Grind it out just a little to the side. It's a little forward yet. Remember, this isn't an exact science. Each one is different. Any, you know, different piece of wood. It doesn't always work out. You have to reweight them. Put weight difference. Sometimes when I weight them, they'll swim just a little tail up. Instead of drilling this out more, I, I tried to get past the anal fin, which sometimes is pretty tight. And if you can't do that, you can, being it's just a little bit of weight, you could go on the top. I've done that a few times and it's not going to make it rock. And, and I've also done where if it's just needs very little more weight to bring the tail down, I've changed this out, the anal fin, and used thicker brass, and sometimes that's all it takes. So, this thing's ready to wait. So let's heat some lead. Just as I was waiting my decoy, I was pouring the lead in the front hole and my SD card ran out. So all the steps are there. It just ends right there. And I'll show you how I clean the decoy up and get it ready for paint in a, another video. But this one just didn't quite make it. Here's the fish in the tank, testing it. Swims pretty good. There it is. And that's how I weight my decoys. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please hit the subscribe and like buttons. And stop by again sometimes. Thanks for watching. Peace! Yeah, I seen other YouTubers do that, so I thought maybe, you know. Okay. Never mind.